dare we even dive into this? Now, I don't know if I can stomach this whole next video. I got to say, not on my fucking birthday. But the fact that this dude started up making videos again today. Uh-uh. 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 This is apparently, I, I, and by the way, this is a, he goes, this is important. Uh, the state and, and legacy media war on free speech is in full swing. And this guy's signing something that looks like this that doesn't look anything like this. I don't know if you can see the paper that's on here, but it doesn't look anything like this. So I'm guessing this is just graphics for graphics sake. I think this has to do with the fact that the British government um, put some limitations on shit around brand being on stuff. The corporatist state and global media war against free speech. Oh, he's back at the regular house. Did they lose the studio? I, there's a distinct um, Rudy Giuliani production quality to this. Is in full swing. How do I know? Take a guess. <laughs> Hello there, you awakening wonders. Thanks for joining me on this voyage to truth and freedom. If you're watching... The <laughs> and, or maybe not truth and freedom. Maybe perjury and jail time. I don't know, really. This anywhere other than Rumble, please join me on Rumble and can because they're the only place that's making money, and of course, I've just cost them millions of dollars. Consider supporting our channel because it has become rather apparent to me that there are. Mm. I uh, I gotta say, bad angle to cut to in the middle of a plea like this. Seriously, it looks like you're offering to surrender to the police. <laughs> Not good. Persecutory forces at work, and we need to ensure... Persecutory forces? ...that we can remain connected to you no matter what. Yeah, no matter what. Even if, even if, even, even if, if I, even, I, even if, uh, Kathy Griffin just came out and said that, uh, um, uh I assaulted a friend of hers. Kathy Griffin says sleazebag Russell Brand assaulted her friend. Um, she put this video online talking about um, um, this friend of hers that he basically rubbed his dick up against when he was a speaker at AA. And uh, um, she she said she didn't want to say who her friend was because the, it was an AA meeting and therefore she wants to keep their... Uh, uh, that it is up to them if they want to out themselves about this, but she was a witness to it when it happened. Um, Bran was the speaker. Afterwards, she went to shake his hand for a good share, and she said that he just came right up to her, got in her face, and pushed his groin against hers. I'm not even going to say he was trying to be funny, because it's just gross. It just tells you the mindset of so many of these guy comics, and there's so many more coming. You don't hear this crap about Dame Judy, Judy Dench. This is true. I, I have to say, um, I had to beg Judy Dench to grind against me at an AA meeting. And I wasn't even supposed to be there. Neither was she. Um, you don't hear this crap about Dame Judy Dench. You don't hear that Julianne Moore is sexually assaulting somebody. That's because she couldn't. We'd all just welcome it. I'm kidding. I'm just being silly. But she's right, you know, in this regard. Also, um, as a male comedian, as a comic, as it were, and I view myself more as a comedian, it's a, it's, you know, I don't want to get into a turf war about the meanings of the words, but it matters to me. Um, that, uh, um, I can, I can comfortably say I'm not on that list of, uh, of the dudes that they're going to go oh, and this fucking guy. Not that I haven't been up to some sexy shenanigans, but you know, I want everybody to have fun. <laughs> you know, again, I think, uh, you know, that, that kind of like rude, bullyish dominance is for people with low self-esteem. I happen to think I'm fantastic. I've, I'm a young man. I've got prospects. So, um, and uh, I, Kathy Griffin, uh, bless her heart, um, I, I had my issue with her severed head picture that she put out. I thought that was a bad move. Doesn't help anything. But I will uh, tell you a little side note that I once sang... Um, uh, what, turn around every now and then I get a little bit harder. Um, um, that song, um, what's, I can't, I'm blitzing on the title. Um, 
And um, I sang it with her, Margaret Cho, and my friend Judy Toll at Judy Toll's birthday party. I sang karaoke with the with the three of them. <laughs> One of the, yeah, total eclipse of the heart. Thank you. I forgot. Yeah, because I, I was getting closer to the heart. It was stuck in my head. Yeah. Yep. So uh, weird moment in my life, long time ago. Didn't buy me any favors, though, um, even though it was a fun night and, and, and Judy was always wonderful to me. Uh, back then, yeah, Margaret and Kathy weren't having it. They're like, who's this hippie? You're not in the cool club um, <laughs> at school. Uh, but uh, all that aside, perfectly fine, whatever. Um, and I, w I would take her at her word over something like this. Just saying, on a personal note. Today, of course, we're talking about events of the last week, but in particular, decade, particular, the collusion between big tech and government and, mm -hmm. and an apparent concerted effort by legacy media and now the state and big tech to silence independent media voices. Obviously, mm, not plural, though. Obviously, it's difficult for me to be entirely objective given the events of the last week, but that is what we yeah, imagine how the girls felt. I'm sure they have a difficult time even talking about, well, the, the balancing of free speech rights and whether someone should be canceled in light of how you treated them, allegedly. ...must try to do, and thankfully we have some incredible reporting from the Grey Zone and elsewhere, as well as... <laughs> yes, the Grey Zone and elsewhere. Places that are up will stay up no matter what happens to me. Oh. Being able to introduce you to the concept of the Trusted News Initiative. This is a long-standing agreement between global legacy media organizations to cooperate with one another, to corroborate one another, in order to shut down what they believe to be their true enemy, independent media voices. What do they mean by that? Do you think this is simply about business? Do you think that this is about clicks and revenue? Or do you think that... They no, I think that's the only reason you're on, is for clicks and revenue. There is something bigger at stake. Something of incredible- Mmm, uh-oh. Uh-oh. First of all, it's a little late to start throwing up the white power symbols, Russell. It's not gonna help you. Also, you're doing it wrong. Also, a little Don Jr. Little, I'm getting a little Don Jr. energy. Also, the eyebrows right now on almost every freeze Look a little, you look concerned, bruh. You look really fucking concerned. This is, yeah. Guys, okay guys, 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 guys. Right, look at, look at the eyebrows. Look at that. That is not, that is some, that is some hardcore, sad trombone shit right there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wow. ideological significance. What do you think is the relationship between the media and the state? Do you think, looking back at the last couple of years in particular? Well, I, 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 that's a good, good example. Um, now, uh, coordinating with uh, the state, wrong, but um, getting a statement from the, you know, the official channels and comparing that to the information you have on the ground or any kind of other stuff is, uh, I think, standard reporting. That's how you should. It's just like you would ask anyone uh, who's uh, famous, I don't know, uh, through their spokesperson, um, what, you know, what their official take is on a particular issue, and they will issue a statement through their people. I think governments, uh, because of the structure and size of them, that's standard operating procedure, as it should be if you have a functioning organization. Um, that said, um, since you've been so haphazardly and joyously sucking Putin's butthole during the entire Ukraine war and never noticing the hand in glove aspect of Solovyev and Simonyan and all those fuckers over there and then making it somehow the legacy media's fault that Seymour H Hirsch is left to bullshit on Substack not not because they're trying to shut him down but because He's dug a hole for himself factually that he can't fucking get out of. The pandemic and the current war, that there has been support from the media when it comes to government policy and a lack of accountability and questioning when it comes to very important and significant questions. Do you think that the no. legacy media has been investigating the legacy media? How about this? Do I think independent media sources that claim to be independent media sources who are really just 
grabbing other articles from other people and going, see what I told you. I'm not going to show you the, the, the third paragraph that eats my whole argument because that's like something Hal Sparks would do, that fucker, right? Right? He shows you the yeah buts. I don't show you the yeah but. I'll do the first two paragraphs and then I move right past the yeah buts to the phony conclusion that you think has more weight because I avoided the yeah buts. And I, sometimes I just show you the fucking title of the article and just call it a day. The causes of this war, the origins of this war, with the kind of vigor that you might have seen elsewhere. Do you think that- What? Fuck off! This war? All right. Um, th this asshole is trying to throw the entire U Ukraine war in front of himself? Like, if they lied about that, surely they're lying about me. I'm not going to, I'm not saying they're lying about that. I'm just asking questions. Oh, yeah, I'm not just doing that. Also, mask mandates? I don't think so. The legacy media has been investigating Big Pharma, the imperatives, incentives, financial undergirding of Big Pharma in the way that they have investigated other matters. Let like, like, um, like other matters. Like, what comes to mind? Like, if they should, um, like... Like me, sperming a woman against her will and against the wall of my place in Los Angeles and she had to go straight to a, a rape clinic and all of my fucking minions jumping on the fact that she handled it like someone you'd had previous sex with when she told you no, she meant no in general and now she's worried that you didn't, you did that and you weren't wearing a condom and she might catch something so that means she was up for it, she was just mad you weren't using a condom and that kind of stuff. so you can send those minions attacking her. Do I think, leave in the comments below if you think there's, you know, if, if I sent basically armies of fucking bot assholes to go after the woman that I uh, fucking spermed against her will in LA years ago. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. Because it seems to me more- There does seem to be a muted energy to be Sam. Just saying. Important now than ever before that we have to analyze, review, and- Oh yeah, I agree. Analyze, review, the case against you, the, the, the text messages that you've put towards these people, statements you've said previously, your little get together with Jimmy Savile, and you're, you're jokingly uh, talking about sending your your uh, assistant over um, in flagrante delecto so that he could have his disgusting way with her after the rumors that he'd been into teenage girls as young as 12 and 13. Um, well, she wouldn't be 12. She'd be a preteen then. But, you, you know, uh, you know, have him on. Have him, it's just a joke. It's just a joke, you know, just joking, you know, in a way that lightens people's expectations about whether they'll get justice against him and then he dies happily and rich before anybody can stop him understand exactly what's happening literally on a global scale this is you're not on a global scale fuckhead this is i got i got news for you this is standard me too come up and fuck off this this is what he's trying to do let's let's be abundantly clear what he's trying to do here it's like he he's trying to do NATO is the reason we've got the Ukraine war and the press was lying and Nazis and blah blah all the bullshit I've been selling you about why the Ukrainians deserve to be raped like in Bucha like those people deserved it because it you know they started it if you really think about it in it and then on the other side uh you know m maybe I had my own personal Bucha you don't know between the mainstream media, the state, and big tech. Let's get into it. The author of letters to social media companies demanding the financial punishment of Russell Brand. Oh, that war. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about Ukraine. And is a British lawmaker implicated in London's war on COVID-19 and Ukraine dissenters. Her husband was a commander in the army's PSYOPs division. The Jesus Christ. Hold on. The Grey Zone can now reveal that YouTube's financial censorship brand uh, uh, of brand is the result of effort waged by former... British government minister. What do you mean can now reveal? Intel Link UK official pushing censorship. You think she's she's the only person? 
Jerry Zone can now reveal that YouTube's financial censorship of Russell Brand is the result of an effort waged by a former British government minister who was responsible for London's crackdown on dissent during the COVID-19 pandemic. Her husband has also participated in that campaign of state... Oh, he, campa- oh, he participated in the campaign, did he? he? He's one of those assholes who wanted us to get out of it, the get people vaccinated, was he? What a monster. State repression as deputy commander of the 77th Brigade, the British Army's Psychological Warfare Division. New developments suggest YouTube censorship of brand was driven by direct British government decree. On September the 19th, the social media... Yeah, there's also a chance. I'm just saying. I don't, I don't doubt that uh, those people could have those jobs. Is, is the bigger news that people who work in that psyops division and stuff didn't do anything about Brand this entire fucking time while he's been doing this shit for the last couple of years, especially as be, as he's been growing this entire fucking nut. They didn't shut him down then. Right? Why wait until multiple women came forward based on charges that have been uh, whispered and obvious against him for uh, over a decade? companies TikTok and Rumble received a pair of almost identical letters dispatched from Caroline Dynage, the head of the UK Parliament's Culture, Media and Sports Committee. Dyn- yeah, but I got news for you. Um, uh, so fucking what? I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you, but that's how the UK works. You live in a monarchy, fuckhead. Dynage informed the companies she was concerned that Brand may be able to profit from his content published on both platforms. Yeah, that sounds like censorship to me. I thought censorship involved silencing your voice, not just taking away the profit that you would make. I mean, I guess it's important for people to be able to make a living, but the, you, R- Russell's a multi-multi-millionaire. Now, you know, he could he could always go, hey, guys, uh, I made my bed and I got to lie in it, but I'll pay your salary as your employer in spite of this. She then suggested they impose financial penalties. In a sense, the bypass of judicial process. Oh, oh look at the dead inside. This is not exactly the article he was expecting to be quoting a month and a half ago, was it? <whistles> By the way, yes, it is my birthday. And I want to thank the gods for this gift. Because after all this smarmy fucking uh, oh, oh, doom spraying bullshit where he's like, the world's coming to an end and I think they want it and they're trying to destroy you and do you even have a chance and blah, blah, blah. Also, if you if feel your anxiety growing because I'm throwing World War Three and government control and monsters and guns and blood and everything at you every fucking day, I'll sell a, 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 a meditation program. Yeah. Right? So come to my little retreat and relax while I put my hands on your pelvic tilt to help you get your downward dog. The right to punitive measures, financial ones, seems like an interesting stance for a government minister to be suggesting to a big tech platform. No, it doesn't, because look at the name of the fucking board committee she's on for the government. That's exactly what they do. The fuck are you talking about? The committee's letter to Rumble contained a direct... Dem- a committee? What was the name of that committee again? The the culture, media, and something committee? Yeah. Sounds like that's all they do. ...for demonetization. We would like to know whether Rumble intends to join YouTube in suspending Mr. Brown's ability to earn money on the platform. Okay. Hey, they're just asking questions. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't resist. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm just asking questions. I'm just, you know. In a withering response to Dynage's letter, Rumble CEO Chris Pavlovsky asserted that Rumble emphatically rejects the UK Parliament's demand. Mm, didn't sound like a demand. It sounded like a question. This is, of course, why we are fortunate to be on Rumble. Please, mm-hmm. please, like and throw money at my ass so I can ah. Uh... Please join us there. Please consider supporting us so that we now. No, I considered it and immediately rejected the idea. We can continue with our organization. I'm beginning to think that our organization is having an impact due to recent events. The se- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you think anybody else in the organization is uh, starting to think that your uh, previous behavior is having an impact on their financial picture and their future in media?
an impact, as it were? The video continued. We regard it as deeply inappropriate and dangerous that the UK Parliament would attempt to control who is allowed to speak on our platform or earn a living from doing so. Uh, first of all, um, uh, you're allowed to speak and you're not guaranteed any money on Rumble. So Rumble being concerned that someone can't make money on there is a little stupid considering not everybody does. As a matter of fact, it costs you money to, to stream on there. You have to be a member um, or have a certain number of uh, you know followers. And until you have that, you've got to buy your way basically onto the platform. And as far as earning a living to, from doing so, they poached him from YouTube as the primary source. They they thought they were gonna they were getting another Joe Rogan. They invested in him. That's what this is about. Caroline Don because they're gonna. I bet you they have to keep paying him. It, there's some clause in there, this anti-cancel clause that if we get canceled on YouTube for the stuff we post on Rumble, you got to guarantee us a certain whatever. Nich served as the UK government's digital and culture minister. Right, which is why it makes sense that she would send a letter like this, digital and culture minister. The fact that they have a digital and culture minister means you should expect these kind of things, for fuck's sake. From February 2020 to September 2021, making a de facto chief of the Department for Culture, Media and Sports, DCM. De facto chief of it? Uh, that sounds like uh, Grey Zone giving her a, a, a promotion. In this capacity, she was personally responsible for overseeing construction of the repressive World Economic Forum endorsed online safety bill. Which oh, online safety. Oh, this sounds like something Melania Trump would do. She's been criticized by rights groups for threatening the rights mm. to free expression. They're threatening it. ...and privacy. For her leading role in crafting the bill, Dianich was honored by the Princess Royal with the title of Dame Commander of the British Empire. More Okay, so they disagree with the World Economic Forum, I guess. Over during this period, the DCMS was home to or or with the uh, the media critics to the shadowy intelligence official run counter disinformation unit, which policed COVID nineteen disinformation narratives online. Investigations by the Civil Liberties. Yeah. Um. How 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 does this how did this square with these women? Are you are you saying that? These women were like MK Ultra psyoped into thinking you sexually assaulted them, or or that the timing is curious because it was supposed to never come out that you did this shit. The what the rat fuck does this have to do with his behavior and and the bite in the ass he's getting more than more than likely because of the trend that's happened since Cosby and Weinstein and traveled through the late you know the latest story of Danny Masterson. His organization Big Brother Watch has revealed that instead of suppressing Big Brother Watch, Jesus Christ, it's a monarchy. You don't have Big Brother. You don't. You don't have. The, the concept of Big Brother is there in when your when your rights have been taken away in the, in the in the British system you never had them to start with content that posed risks to public health the CD wait uh, CSL what was the I would love for out of covered it's really short for obvious reasons what were the what was the video what are you talking about you was preoccupied with censoring and mm. deplatforming reasonable online criticisms of the mm. <laughs> reasonable. British government's COVID-19 response, including opposition to lockdowns and vaccine passports. What we appear to be looking at here are a set of collaborating institutions that have an agenda and then pursue that agenda, even when in pursuing it, they have to bypass, repress, obstruct, or absolutely ignore existing judicial or regulatory bodies and protocols by moving straight to punitive measures, by bypassing judicial systems, and... Dude, fucking, this is the most flaily, flail, flail farm I've ever seen. Good lord. Any volunteers for a house for a strip of grant? That's very sweet. I heard that you were feeling ill, headache, fever, and a chill. I came to help restore your pluck, because I am the nurse that likes to stomp. Um, in particular, in the event of COVID, of course, repressing true information, preventing healthy online debate. It's plain that there were narratives that were repressed during the COVID pandemic. It's uh, yes, there are definitely narratives that were repressed, uh, fucking criminal ones like lies and bullshit. 
People say, people like you saying, I'm just asking questions when you're making overt statements, trying to get people to not get vaccinated at a time when there was a pandemic rolling through, killing lots of people. Plain during the ongoing. And also, uh, bitch all you want in the U.S. system because we have, you know, broader free speech protections in the United States and they still fail because this is social media, not regular media. And anybody can go out in the fucking street with a fucking bullhorn and go, don't get vaccinated. It's just life. Oh, yeah, I was behind. Sorry. The past wasn't that Ukraine, long ago. Ukraine-Russia conflict that, well, for example, Russia Today are not allowed to be on most social media sites. Rumble continue to host Russia Today so that people... Oh, that's weird. Really? Uh, Russia Today, you know, that uh, that basically the voice of freedom of Russia. Russia is, that is, RT is Russian state media. Don't fucking bitch about this like, is there collusion between the fucking state? Oh, shit. And the media and big tech and all. Oh, Oh, I don't like it. Oh, and they do that when the state and the media are hand in glove. And isn't it a shame that RT's not allowed? Oh, yeah, it's, I, I suppose it's a shame that the fucking North Korean channels don't run 24-7 in English. They're able to discern from themselves propaganda from truth. This, I feel, is an... Imp it's active propaganda. It's state media. It's state-run media. You're not talking about independent channels from Russia getting kicked off. That's the fucking state. That's the, that's the Kremlin's line, fucko. Important comp if the White House had their own television station, would you be like, why are people censoring the White House channel? Opponent in any democracy. Let me know if you agree in the chat. Accor Jesus Christ. And he, by the way, his comments and his views are way off. He's got, he, he got a bunch of subscribers on Rumble, um, but his, even though they went down by like a million, um, on YouTube, I think it was, for a bit. They all came back, but the views are way down. According to an official fact sheet, the CDU's focus turned to the Ukraine war in 2022. That's weird. Why? Why 2022 in particular? That country's been in existence for a long time. Since 1991, it had similar, similar borders. I, I can't imagine what would draw people's attention to Ukraine in 2022, I, I don't know. Doesn't it seem odd to you that you can move from a health pandemic to a war? Aren't they quite distinct, compartmentalized issues? Doesn't it seem, therefore, that the real issue is not the subject themselves, a pandemic? What? The, the subjects are, all, are about literally the function of the government and, and the informing the people about an important story in this case the pandemic or the war they're both extraordinary but this is like the cultural ministry that's what they do the cultural and digital ministry or whatever the fuck and how to handle that sensibly or a war and how to handle that judiciously and correctly but dissent itself the ability to oppose existing narratives yeah, opposing it isn't the problem. Again, this is the whole just asking questions bullshit. When you assert that the British government is supporting Nazis because they're trying to stop Russian Wagnerites from raping people and murdering children and slicing the genitals off of POWs in Ukraine, that's a little more than just asking asking questions or clamoring for fucking peace. It's the ability to begin to organize communities against establishment narratives and preferred systemic outcomes is being closed down, I would suggest, on the basis of this, rather aggressively. Let me know what you think. Dine please, please let me know. You've got to write some comments because they, everybody's noticing that no one's watching my shit anymore. And please write something. And, and when I say that, of course, I'm talking to the bot farms who we pay to write things in there so that they can make it fill out so it looks more organic. Just wait until I say comment and then do the comment thing so that the comments don't look, you know, that they show up in the time frame so that it looks like you did it on purpose. His husband, Mark Lancaster, helped lead London's Blitz on pandemic descent as deputy commander of the British... Pandemic descent. Mm-hmm. What would, what would that be? People who believe that it wasn't real or that, that it was a Chinese bioweapon? Which one? Army's 77th Brigade between June 2018 and July 2020. Help lead London's blitz on pandemic descent from 2018 to 2022. Shit. Well, I, I got to give them credit for being 
way ahead of the game. Two, specialised in behaviour and attitudinal change, which in itself seems like a strange military unit. What are we going to do about behaviour and attitudes? Mind your own business and focus on just wars? There aren't any. The 70s. There aren't any. Oh, he's back to trying to make a joke in this. There are no just wars. There is no such thing as justified self-defense, according to Russell Brand. The, uh, that if someone is being sexually assaulted, they must lay back and take it. If they physically fight back at the time, or if they seek uh, retribution later, uh, that is wrong. That is as bad as the initial sexual assault, according to Russell Brand. That's the case he's making right here. There are no just wars. There are no just fights then. There is, there, there is no just physical conflict, especially if you were attacked. And if, and Russell, if you are attacked, Russell will throw his weight behind the people who uh, attacked you. And if you try to defend yourself, that's you clamoring for, for world war. And basically, this is his way of saying that the women who are coming after him are effectively sexually assaulting him. 7th Brigade maintains a vast militia of real, fake and automated social media accounts to disseminate and amplify pro-state messaging and discredit the- By the way, this is Grey Zone's take on the 77th Brigade, as it were, and I'm not taking it as, uh, you know, as gospel by any sense. He's reading these chunks. Domestic and foreign enemies. During the pandemic, the 77th Brigade targeted people within Britain and across the West with advanced psychological manipulation strategies honed on battlefields against enemy militaries. It seems that in the- yeah, I mean, we read those words. Obviously, it's true. In the absence of an external enemy, the domestic population becomes the enemy. And any ability to organize and communicate... Yeah, no, They were just lucky a pandemic came in where they'd have dipshits lying and trying to get people to not get vaccinated or not practice, uh, you know, like wash their hands and not touch their fucking eyes and, uh, and avoid people who've been ill so it doesn't spread as much so they can buy some time until the fucking vaccine gets here. It's, it's horrifying. Luckily, you know, they would love to just straight up the rest of the time they're spent manipulating people to buy the biggest toy of the season. Oh, uh, thanks for the super chat. That's really sweet, Carol. Bless you. Uh, and uh, birthday buddies are President Carter, Julie Andrews, and Zach Galifianakis. Good group. Yeah, solid. Almost identical. I mean, there's almost no difference in those three people. It's funny. With the domestic population, in order that they act on behalf of their own interests, has to be silenced and shut down using whatever techniques are necessary and possible. It's only a... Mm, no, it seems like they're limited on the kind of things they could do. Like, they're not snuffing people. It seems like they're just... Again, attitudinal and convincing, because if 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 the government was anything like he thinks it is, they wouldn't even have an internalized propaganda ministry like this. They just lock people up and that'd be that. Short while. I'm almost done with this dickheads nonsense. Since the pandemic ended and who knows, maybe the pandemic will begin again. But we know. Just an asshole. Just like, yeah, you know, it, it was fake in the first place. Won't they fake another one? Why don't you go know fake yourself? At the beginning of the pandemic, theories and ideas were being discussed at the very highest level that were dismissed publicly. We now know that experts with legitimate voices, valid views, clinical trials, significant information were silenced, not because of your safe. Yes, that's true. This, the Chinese scientist who... Uh, discovered COVID-19 effectively and tried to warn the world died. He was silenced and then he caught COVID and he died in China and they hid it from the world. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, oh, you mean mask mandate stuff because there hadn't been any complete studies at the time. Now there have been. It did help or my safety, but precisely because it was necessary to control them. Once these... Uh, why? All right, this is... All right, I'm, I'm done. This is so fucking lazy. It's just boring at this point. Um, here's my question. If the government's plan 
was to control everyone and control and control. And that's the only reason the pandemic was a great fraud upon the, the world's population launched by the fucking World Economic Forum and the fucking Pentaveret and the Illuminati cases and whatever the fuck. And it was only there so governments could get you to behave and obey and obey, behave and behave, obey, obey. obey. First of all, half the population didn't. They fucking snapped and wouldn't do anything. The rest of the population was, was lukewarm to things did their best, but none of us felt like the government says I should stay inside. You're just like, yeah, it's probably not. There's a, it's a contagious disease. Wait till it clears effectively. This is like, it's like saying, imagine him standing outside of somebody's house in like 75 mile an hour winds with hail coming down in fucking Florida with just like light poles bending this way and fucking alligators sliding in the rain down the fucking road going the government only wants you to stay inside because they want to control you there is no hurricane it's bullshit whack you know I find it kind of amazing because is is anybody more like, yes, government, no government, yes, government, no government, than they were before the fucking thing. And, and if you're in government and you're, all, you're, you're aware of a massive threat that is going to take thousands of fucking lives in one fell swoop, and, and you go, well, we could tell them, but they won't listen. Yeah. And there's a bunch of people who don't believe it. You know, and they're just telling people and that, you know, in the absence of us making a statement, they're just fun sort of filling that gap. And, and so I guess, I guess you got to just let a bunch of people die then. I mean, as, as, as the government, as the elected representatives of the people in our constituency, I mean, I think you got to expect to lose about 20, 25% of your, your population in any given time. Right. I, I don't get the whole it was just government control thing. I mean, it's the same. These are the same fuckers who went to public school and then tell you public school just cranks out drones. Public school just cranks out people who, you know, can't think for themselves, aren't capable critically. Like, motherfucker, you went to public school. Yeah, but I'm special. Why are you special? Well, because I know about the elites. What the fuck are you talking about? But aren't you saying in in effect that you are the elites that you can be you can go to public school and somehow come out magically on the other end without being able to be controlled whereas the rest of us are fucking bleh, bleh, bleh. like the ever loving shit ladder lifters right i it is so it just lacks a level of sort of normalcy and maturity that is stunning. That you can't think two steps past what you're fucking saying and go, all right, if, if I was responsible for all these people, how would I behave? And if you go, I would, I would just, you know, can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. And freedom is so important that people should be allowed to go out and don't inform them of a threat. And if someone else is lying to them about the threat, let them be lied to. Because what, I mean, all you're doing is killing off the gullible, I suppose. Also, don't forget, I'm doing a live show and everybody can come out and, and we'll have a massage therapy session where we all sit in the corner and grope each other. And then we learn how to breathe. Fucking hell. Just lame. 